I will keep the sale time here by the time when I'm releasing the video if I know the date. If not, generally it would start mostly in the week of uh, Christmas. As simple as that. And uh, why Zara sales sucks? There is a dedicated video. Go watch that uh, after this particular video. And if you want to shop from Zara, if I have to just pick or shop my best list, what are the categories of clothing you should target first and what you should do last in terms of the priorities? Just we will discuss casually. So the very first thing, what I would do uh, would be shoes and also accessories. Make sure that you shop these items uh, when you're getting the best value, which I mentioned in the particular video at the end of the sale probably. And accessories are something which are non written with most of the accessories. So do check that as well. But for shoes, Zara offer great designs, be it their chunky boots or be it their sock sneakers, be it the color block sneakers or be it the chunky sneakers. They have the basis covered and also the statement options and also the middle ground certainly in between. The different designs, they actually bring the designs from the higher luxury brands or the premium brands to a much more affordable price point and that too when you get during the sale time for a discount of almost 50 to 60 percent off those are actually of really great value so shoes or footwear is something i would target the most and number two as i mentioned it's about accessories and accessories there are two categories you should target among the accessories one bags cross body bags you can't just get these designs anywhere except for zara when it comes to cross body bags most of my collection even though i do have gucci or louis vuitton with me but still, I end up using most of the time Zara bags because they do have some really great designs. And again, as I mentioned, whatever the premium brands they are doing, they just bring it to a price point of 2000 to 3000 rupees. Generally, you, during the sale time, you can get this at a price point of 1000 to 1500. And cross body bags are something which serves the practical utility purpose and also makes you look stylish. And the other item I would target would be backpacks along with the crossbody bags or a tote bags because these are mostly used for practical purpose but Zara do have some great collection in terms of the quality and in terms of the style and they are very durable as well. So inside the accessories the other category would be the necklaces. By the time the sale starts more or less all of the necklaces, bracelets, rings or this jewelry in specific they might be going out of stock but whatever you have available in case if you found any great pieces jewelry is also something uh, which you should target i'm saying which you should target that doesn't mean that you have to buy whatever i'm saying or whatever all the categories i'm showing in this video whatever your interest could be i'm just guiding you in the right path huh so category number three jeans i would say i wanted to keep jackets as the next category but i would say jeans because Zara do have great basics when it comes to jeans. No brand can beat them during the sale time in specific because Zara in terms of the durability, yes, you do get almost like two to three years of the durability for sure. And in case if you use them frequently, I mean, if you don't use them frequently, you get even more. But when it comes to different types of fits and also basic jeans, they do have great options and also the distressed jeans and baggy jeans. Also, they have great options. Slim Fit 90s are my current favorite. I do have one in uh, pista green, some sort of a sage green color, and then one in this normal classic light wash blue jeans. And they do have one in black color as well. And the skinny fit, the ripped skinny fit jeans, or the baggy jeans don't buy, but they do have relaxed fit options. They are great. Or the carrot fit jeans are one of my current favorite. They are a nice balance between the stride fit and also the relaxed fit. Category number four, it's about jackets. You can see the scrolling throughout the video, like what are my favorites or in general, the basic scrolling, but I will make sure that all the products I like or you should target during the Zara sale, the links are in there in the description. So for the jackets, of course, vasty jackets and statement jackets in case if you want a sequin jacket. I made a dedicated video. You can check out that video. I will make sure that video link is in the description or on the iCard. So I made a dedicated video on few of the options, be it a winter wear or be it this. So I'm not going to just talk much about these particular categories, but basic denim jackets or uh, if you want a graffiti print denim jacket or maybe shirt jacket in specific which are trending since long time or a denim shirt jackets, uh, flannel shirt jackets. They do have different textures when it comes to the materials in specific for the jackets. And then when it comes to bomber jackets, classic bomber jacket, varsity jacket, and also sequin or these kind of a party wear jackets as well. They do have many number of options uh, when it comes to jackets. You're gonna see more of the winter wear collection and for winters, generally they do have the puffers, trench coats, wool coats, everything. Just uh, if you are living in a cold climatic conditions throughout the year, make sure that you opt for this piece because you get the best value out of this piece maybe at the end of the January or in the middle of the January to the most. By the time it gets delivered, more or less if you're living in a normal temperature regions like mine, 
it's useless so the next category it would be bottom wear there are few interesting options this particular time around one the carpenter trouser uh, which do have some sort of an attachment they come in a straight to relaxed fit and those are particularly trending this particular season these are priced at 5000 to 6000 rupees which are absolutely not worth for that particular price point however during sales uh, you can get them somewhere around 1500 to 2000 rupees along with that uh, the top stitch jeans or a contrast stitching jeans in specific means fugaji do have one at 1600 rupees the black color option or the other color options but uh, fugaji options are not that great in terms of the quality and also in the fit but zara do have great options at 4000 rupees that is all something you can consider and also if you want a basic trousers with some sort of a carrot fit uh, there is one of my favorite uh, you can see on the screen as well the carrot fit beige color chinos they do have uh, this kind of a tapering also with the help of the button at the end of the uh, trouser that's something i like uh, with those pants and when it comes to the bottom wear be it a drawstring pants be it a technical pants or be it cargo pants in relaxed fit and slim fit be it a regular they do have cargo pants in almost each and every type of fit and then uh, they do have the normal formal pants zara do have great basics generally zara and h&m we misinterpret seeing them as a fast fashion brands but uh, most often they're not they do also have great basics as well means they have their core foundation very very strong whatever the basics you need more or less you can find them on these websites so basics you can target when it comes to the bottom wear overall in case if you want a chinos or if you want a drawstring pants or a technical cargo trousers or maybe the relaxed fit cargo trousers carpenter pant top stitch pants this is the time you should go hard huh for the next category which would be the shirts Yes, again, I'm not going to cover the basis. Basic shirts, of course, uh, you can go in whatever color you want. Uh, you can get great fits and all. They do have Zara Origins as one specific category where they use premium quality materials. Of course, the price are going to be even more premium. But still, uh, the quality of the pieces and the durability, it's definitely going to be really, really great with these options. So that is one. And particularly for shirts, what I prefer from Zara. Zara do have different materials used for their shirts. With those materials, you get the advantage of the textures, particularly during the summer season. But if I have to say irrespective of the season, textures are something that makes you look stylish and uh, makes you look stand out from the rest of the crowd, I would say, because not each and every one is going to focus on the textures and textures gives that expensive look you are searching for. And be it a crochet material uh, shirt Zara offers or be it a um, seersucker material or be it something like a pleated material uh, just like this. This is not from Zara. This is from a brand called Dash and Dot. I'll make sure that there is a link in the description. These are oversized one, too much oversized. These kind of different materials or the crinkled version of the cotton. Printed shirts are my go-to. Linen shirts and different textured material shirts and different printed shirts. Printed shirts generally like 3,000 rupees would be a high ask during normal times. If if I get maybe at a thousand or maybe 1300 or 1500 also, it should be fine. And the last category I would say would be the t-shirts. I'm not going to talk about the knitwear because recently I did a video on the different categories of the knitwear. I'll make sure that there is a link of that video in the description, particularly for the t-shirt, the graphic printed t-shirts in specific, the back prints or the front prints, or maybe the pleated t-shirts, the one which I'm wearing right now. This may or may not be in stock uh, because the pleated pants, I forgot to just mention about the pleated pants. Uh, let me show that very quickly. Uh, I do have them in multiple colorways. I bought them at full price point. These are the pleated pants, which you can get only in Zara. And these are priced at 3000 rupees. By chance, if you get them on discount, make sure that you get these particular pants. I got them in almost all colorways at full price points this particular season because uh, fear of losing out, as I mentioned in the particular video. And I bought this shirt, t-shirt as well. Uh, these ones cost at 2000 rupees. Again, just like the shirt, they do have different textures when it comes to t-shirts as well. Choose for the basic colors and play with the textures. That's where you get the most value and that's where you get the longevity because they are not gonna go out of trend. And a few statement pieces, be it like uh, graphic printed or uh, be it like a loose bit t-shirt or be it like a long line, just you can experiment accordingly. But these are my favorite options uh, when it comes to the t-shirts. Knitwear, as I mentioned, I would not talk much because be it the sweatshirts, the back print sweatshirt, the front print sweatshirts, and also the other knitwear, turtle legs, uh, half sleeve hoodies, the full sleeve hoodies. They do have plethora of options to choose from. Post that, it's completely up to you guys. I hope you guys found this Zara Shop My List list video useful. I kept it super casual. Uh, I just kept it generic when what is displayed on the screen as well. But I'll make sure that whatever my favorites are, 
there are links in the description below because links are really important and make sure that you wish list the item because there are links right now if the item goes out of stock you can't give the link because you just can't go to the order page and can't give the link you have to make sure that you can keep only the code but when you enter that code it will not display anything that's something so if you wish list the product only you will get it if not out of luck having said that shop mindfully don't shop too much because uh, they play on our mindset the fear of losing out don't shop at the very start of the sale always make sure that you get the best price points which happens only during the end of the sale thank me later and also do watch that particular video and do let me know in the comment section below which category you would target that's it for me see you next time